Okay, so today we're going to focus on writing the equation of a parabola given the focus and the directrix. So the first thing we need to know is what is a parabola? So a parabola is a set of points equidistant from a line, and that's called the directrix, and a point that's not on the line, which is called the focus. So let's take a look at uh, the try this. It says given a line, which is right here, and a point not on the line, which is this right here, it says draw in all the points equidistant, that means the same distance away, from the point and the line. All right, so the line is called my directrix. And the point here, that's called my focus. So I'm looking for points that are the same distance away from the focus and the directrix. So the easiest one to probably identify would be this one right here so far, okay? It's the same distance away from the point and from the line. Now there are other points. So what about this point right here? Okay, and this point, and then this one, and this one, and this one, and so far, so on on the other side. And what we actually get is a parabola. Now notice that the parabola is going up, and notice where the focus is. It's inside the parabola. We call that the parabola is hugging the focus. So this is called concave up. All right, let's take a look at the other side. We have, this is the directrix. And this is the focus. And all the points equidistant from the line and the point would give me a parabola that goes this way. And notice that the point is inside the parabola this way. So the parabola is hugging the point. This is called concave down. All right, so now we're going to write the equation given the focus and the directrix. So we're going to come up with the equation of this parabola knowing the focus and the equation of the directrix line. Okay, so let's try this. So write the equation of a parabola given the focus and the directrix. So this is something that you need to know. It's the equation of a parabola in vertex form. It's x minus h squared. She looks a little familiar from the equation of a circle. x minus h squared equals 4p times y minus k. Now hk is the vertex of the parabola. That's also called the turning point. Notice that in the formula it's negative h, negative k but the vertex is positive h, positive k. So just like the equation of a circle, we have to change the signs. P is the distance from the vertex to the focus, and it has to be in that direction. Because if it's going up, it'll be positive. If the direction is going down, it will be negative. All right, so let's take a look at the first example. It says, Find the vertex form of the equation of a parabola given the directrix, which is y equals 4, and the focus, which is 5, 0. So the first thing I want you to do is to draw a picture. So that's step one. Draw a picture. All right, so you're just going to draw uh, a sketch. Draw my sketch over here. Remember, this is my x-axis, this is my y-axis. And let's see, I need y is equal to 4. That's a uh, horizontal line. 1, 2, 3, 4. That's y equals 4. And plot the point 5, 0. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 0 would be right here. Okay, so we have the directrix, which is right here. I'll put a D here for directrix, and this is my focus, F. Okay, so the next thing I want you to do is to determine if it's concave up or if it's concave down. So let's write that down for number two. Determine if concave 
up or down. All right, so remember I said the parabola has to hug the focus. Here's the focus. So my parabola has to go this way. So it's actually concave down. All right, so let's just put that over here on the side. Concave for this problem, concave down. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is actually find the vertex or the turning point. All right, so let's write that down for number three. Find vertex, and in parentheses if you want to put turning point, you can, so if you remember that term from last year. Now, to find the turning point, or the vertex, so the vertex is midway between the directrix, and focus. Okay, so the vertex is right in between these two here, the directrix and the focus. So what you want to do is you want to count the number of boxes in between the directrix and the focus. So that would be, I'm going to count up here along the uh, y-axis. So that would be one, two, three, four. So that's four boxes. So I want halfway, midway between that. So I want to take four and I want to divide that by two to get two. So it's two boxes up, two units up. So we're going to go up two units, one, two. So right here is my vertex. So I'm going to label that. And my vertex is five comma two. So let's write that down. Vertex is five comma two. So the next thing we want to do now is plug this into our formula. All right, so let's write that down. Plug vertex into equation. So our equation, if you recall, is x minus, sorry, our equation is x minus h squared equals 4p times y minus k. So remember, our vertex is h k, so my equation so far is going to be x minus 5 squared equals 4p times y minus 2. So this is what my parabola is going to look like. So it's going to have the turning point. It's going to hug the focus. So number five, step five, is to actually find p. So let's write that down. Find p. So remember, p is the distance... from the vertex to the focus. And it has to be in that order. It has to go from vertex to focus. All right, so let's take a look over here at our picture. So here's my vertex. And to go to the focus, I actually have to go down. And I actually have to go down how many units, which would be one two units. So that would mean my P, this would be my P, is down two units. So it's minus two. That's how we represent going down. P is equal to negative two. So now let's plug P in. So that would be step six. So plug P in. And you're going to simplify simplify 4p. All right, so let's see what we have here. We have uh, x minus 5 squared equals 4 times negative 2 times y minus 2. Now I actually want to simplify this. I don't want to leave it like that. 
So my final answer is x minus 5 squared equals negative 8 times y minus 2. Okay, so let's try a couple more problems. It says to write the equation of the parabola given the directrix and the focus. So we're going to start with problem number 2 here. All right, so the first thing we want to do is we want to draw a picture. Remember, that's y. I have x here. I'm going to start with y is equal to 1, the directrix. And I'm going to plot negative 3, 7, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So I'm going to plot that point right here. And that's the focus. All right, so the first thing I want to do now, after I draw the picture, is I wanted to determine if it's going to be concave up or concave down. Now remember, your parabola has to hug the focus. Since my focus is above the directrix, my, fo my parabola has to go this way to hug the focus. That means it would be concave up. So let's write that down. Concave up. All right, now the next thing I want to do is I want to find the vertex. So remember, the vertex is in between, midway between the focus and the directrix. So we actually want to count how many units from the directrix up to the focus. So starting at the directrix, it's one, two, three, four, five, six units up. So from here to there is six. So now I want to do half of six. Half of six would be three. So I'm going to go three units up or down, it doesn't really matter. So one, two, three, it would be right about, it'll be there. Okay, that's my vertex. So my vertex is going to be negative three comma four. Okay, so let's write down our equation so that we can plug in our vertex. So my equation is x minus h squared equals 4p times y minus k. All right, so my vertex, remember, vertex, we just found to be negative 3 comma 4. That's your h and your k, h, k. So let's plug that in. We have x. Now, since I have, my formula has a minus in it and it's negative 3, that's actually going to make it plus 3. x plus 3 squared is equal to 4p times y minus 4. So my parabola actually looks something like this. Goes up like this and around the other side like that to be concave up and go through the vertex. So now I need to actually find the p-value. The p-value, remember, is from the vertex up, in this case, to the focus. Vertex to focus, and we are going up here. From here to here, it's up three units. So P is equal to three, and in this case, it's positive. P is equal to three. So let's plug it in. We have X plus three squared is equal to four times three times Y minus four, and I just wanna clean this up and write that as 12. X plus three squared is equal to 12 times Y minus four. All right, so the next one that we're going to be working on is having a directrix of y is equal to 4 and a focus of 3, 2. So the first thing we're going to do is to draw a picture. So this is x and this is y. I'm going to draw in my directrix, which is y is equal to 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. That's y is equal to 4. I'm going to plot the point 3, 2, 1, 2, 3, and up 2, which would be right there. So now I want to determine if this is actually concave up or if it's concave down. So remember, your parabola has to hug the focus so it'll look like this. That means it would be concave, you got it, concave down. 
just erase this. Concave down. All right, the next thing we want to do is find the vertex. Now remember, the vertex is halfway in between the directrix and the focus. So we need to count. So from the directrix to the focus is one, two units. So from here to there is two units. So I want half of two. So half of two is equal to one. So my vertex is going to be one unit in between here. So this would be my vertex. So count up one, which would be right here. So let's label that vertex. So my vertex would be three, three. So my parabola will actually look something like this. All right, so now let's write, start writing our equation. The equation of the parabola is x minus h squared equals 4p times y minus k. Let's write down our vertex. Our vertex is 3, 3. Let's plug it in. x minus 3 squared is equal to 4p times y minus 3. So the next thing we need to do is we need to find what the p value is. Remember, p is the distance from the vertex down, in this case, to the focus. Vertex to focus. Vertex down, in this case, to the focus. So since we're moving down, p is equal to negative 1 because we went down one unit. P is equal to negative 1. Let's plug it into our equation. X minus 3 squared is equal to 4 times negative 1 times Y minus 3. I'm going to clean that up right there. So my final answer is X minus 3 squared is equal to negative 4 times Y minus 3. And that's it for the lesson. And I will see you guys tomorrow so that we can practice in class. Have a good night.